Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. In this episode of Luminar 2018 Tips and Tricks, we're going to take a look at the differences and similarities between the Saturation Vibrance Filter and the Brilliance Warmth Filter that are found in Luminar 2018. Now on this image, you could look over at my workspace and you'll see that I have both of these filters added, the Saturation Vibrance Filter and the Brilliance Warmth Filter. And you can see that we're really dealing with four different sliders. Now the sliders all do something similar, but they're really different. And there may be times where you'll want to move one slider over another slider. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. We're gonna start right off at the top with the Saturation Vibrance Filter and the Saturation Slider. Now if I take the Saturation Slider all the way down to minus 100, you could see we have a monochrome image. There's no color at all in this image. That tells us that the saturation slider affects every single color in the image. If I take the saturation slider and I move it positive towards plus 100, you'll notice that every color is affected and some of the colors are oversaturated. So the saturation slider really affects every single color pixel in the image. Conversely, the vibrant slider, if I take that all the way down to minus 100, you can see that it sucked out a lot of the color in the image, but we still have a little color there. And if you look closely, you'll notice that these warmer colors, we have a little bit more of that. So the vibrant slider did not affect the oranges as much. You'll find as you experiment with it that the vibrant slider won't affect the oranges and reds quite as much as it does the other colors. And we could demonstrate that as I move it positive. If I move it to plus 100, you could see that it really saturated the cool colors up in the sky. And it did saturate these warm colors down here. So we, the orange is pretty saturated. But when we compare it with the saturation slider, if I move that to 100, you'll notice that the blues and the cool colors in the sky are about the same as they were with the vibrant slider. But if you really look closely, this warm orange is saturated even more. So the saturation slider tends to affect the oranges and reds a little more than it does, than does the vibrant slider. What that tells us is the Vibrant Slider is probably a better slider to use when you want to enhance color when you have a person or persons in the picture. That way it won't affect their skin tones as much. So it will saturate most of the other colors or desaturate most of the other colors, but it won't affect the skin tones quite as much as the Saturation Slider does. So if you have a person's or person in your image and you want to enhance color, I suggest you do use the Saturation Vibrance Filter, but you just stick with the Vibrance Slider. You could turn that up and you'll affect almost all the colors about the same as the Saturation Slider, except those colors that are more geared or more skewed towards the skin tones. That would be oranges and pinks and reds. Now, this Brilliance Warmth filter has two sliders, vividness and warmth. And you'll see that this is kind of similar, this vividness slider. If I move this all the way down to minus 100, you could see that it took a lot of the color out of the image, but it did not affect these warmer tones quite as much. Very similar to the vibrance filter or the vibrance slider that is in the saturation vibrance filter. When I bring that down, it took a lot of the color out but it didn't affect these warm tones as much. Now it seems like the vividness slider took a little more color out than the vibrant slider. If I move this vividness slider to the right, you'll see that it enhances the colors quite a bit and it tends to enhance all the colors. But when compared to the other two sliders that are up here in the saturation vibrance filter, you'll see that saturation Hopefully it comes through in the video. Saturation is just saturating just a little bit more. Whereas Vibrance is saturating just a little bit less. So in my opinion, the vividness slider that is in the Brilliance Warmth filter 
falls somewhere between the saturation and vibrance sliders that are in the saturation vibrance filter. Yes, it will saturate and oversaturate some of the colors. And yes, it does affect the warm tones about as much as it, it affects the cool tones. But it does not seem to do as much saturation or desaturation as the saturation slider does that is in this filter. This seems to go further. Whereas the vibrance slider doesn't go quite as far. So that's why I think, and it's my opinion, that the vividness slider is kind of between those two. The warmth slider, on the other hand, will really affect the overall color warmth of the filter. So it affects more of kind of like a white balance would do. If I move it to the left, we're going to cool everything down. So we're going to make those warmer tones in here, the orange, a lot cooler but we're going to cool down everything that is cool even more. Conversely, if I move this warmth slider to the right, you'll see we kind of warm everything up. So those warm tones are getting warmer, and those cool tones are getting less cool. It's not necessarily making the cool, to to cool tones warm. It's just making them less cool. So really, in my opinion, I... in you know, everyone's different and definitely experiment and see what works for you. But at least for me, I think for landscapes that have sunsets or sunrises in them, the Brilliance Warmth Slider adds a little more versatility for me. I could take the Vividness Slider and do everything I need to do that I could do with the Saturation Vibrance Sliders that are in the Saturation Vibrance Filter. So I could pretty much, I mean, no one most people at least don't put any of these sliders probably maxed out at plus 100. So I could take this vividness slider and move it to the right to make the colors more saturated in my image. Then I could take the warmth slider and then I could kind of skew it one way or the other. If I'm in a warm mood, I'll move it a little bit to the right. If I'm in a cooler mood, I'll move it a little more to the left. So I could either um, kind of skew the white balance of the entire image with that warm slider. So for me at least, I will be using the Brilliance Warmth Filter on landscape images mainly, and specifically landscape images that are sunsets or sunrises. Conversely, if I have a general image and I just need to enhance the colors in the image, I will use the Saturation Vibrant Slider, and I will particularly favor that filter, saturation vibrance filter, I will favor that with an image that has a person or persons in it. And that way I'll just mute, move the vibrance slider. So I hope that made sense. There was a lot of words I just put in this um, video concerning four sliders, but I hope that helps you better process your images. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.